What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more 60 seconds re -atomized. That's right. Now last time we left off, mom was away and we were going to see if the kids could survive for a day. Now, they're going to need to survive for more than a day because she's probably going to be gone for about a week. So let's make sure they're doing good. She's dehydrated. He's hungry. That's fine. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet, that's exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we could make some new friends? Should we let them in? Yeah. Let's keep going with the say yes to everything. Especially since we're so poor right now, maybe they'll give us something. Oh, did, what, what did they give us? Anything? Fuck! The merry men were not merry at all. They told us that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. We didn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes were too damn hypnotizing. Fuck, we lost some really good shit that we didn't need to lose. And she's got to drink water and he's fine. One minute it was all fine and the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves as we're going to survive. Let's just sleep on it. Yeah, that's, that's what we need to do. Hopefully Dolores comes back with a lot of goodies because the kids just got fucking robbed. We're done fighting, but for how long? All right, let's see. He's dehydrated, but he's all right for now. Oh dear, we just remember we plan on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we should still go, right? Yeah, we'll see. The last family planned on taking a trip south in two months, but uh, they didn't even make it hardly two more weeks after that. Time to ration supplies. Yep, he needs water. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. Yeah, there we go. It's easy to forget about bombs when they're just not falling on you. Who knows, maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll ask Dolores how it is when she gets back. Alright, let's give him the food there. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should be open? Yeah, we don't have anything to fight them with. We're not a threat. Day 11. Ooh, and it sounds like Dolores is back. Hey, she's back. The gas mask is broke, but the people who came in the name of freedom gave us a gun. Opening the door revealed a group of armed teenagers, possibly high school students. Contrary to what we expected, they were very friendly and requested to know if we've seen any reds nearby. We couldn't help them. When we found out we were not armed, they were kind enough to leave us a spare rifle. We asked who they were. All they said was, Wolverines! We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. The world's end, usually a respectable- wait. We tried our luck at the nearby bar, fittingly called The World's End. Usually such a respectable family like our own would never go there, but this time we gave it a shot hoping to find some unclaimed goods. Who would have known that tomato soup used to be such a popular snack in a bar? We found a few cans and took, took them with us, but we uh, apparently only brought one back. We didn't expect to find any clean water in the bar, and we weren't wrong. Whatever we found wasn't pure, and it wasn't water. But hey, if it quenches thirst, that counts. <laughs> okay, two quote-unquote waters. Damn it, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. All right. Timmy's starving, he needs food, she needs both, and she's fine. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Yeah, Mary Jane will be fine. We were buying the radioactive landscape, and we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty-looking rifle, but she hailed us in a polite enough manner. She claims to be a hunter, tracking a big mutated spider. She ran out of ammo and told us that if we were to help her out, she'd pay us back in a while. Yeah, give her the ammo, why not? Day 12, all right. We're moving along though, looking, things are looking more up than they could be, and we're gonna send Mary Jane out. She's no longer thirsty, and she's quite hungry, so we'll give her some food before we send her out. And she needs food, and he needs food, so... Mary Jane's going, and she's not ringing anything. Yeah, just go. You, you, she doesn't need anything, she's, she's a warrior. She's gonna come back, hopefully mutant, and will only require food and no more water. Isn't that how that works, when she's mutant? And then she'll just be our gopher to get everything. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back. All right, Dolores is still tired. Can't seem to sleep it off. Damn. All right. They both need some water, but they can wait another day. If there's anyone who can rescue from us this hell of a situation, it's our government. You know, you can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and ears open for any sign from them. Oh, I'm curious about that one time there. Uh-oh, two weeks in and we're getting a phone call. Let's see who it is. If there's one thing we need to do, it's use a radio on a regular basis, blah, blah, blah. Timmy should eat something. Dehydration, yep. And dehydration. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on the street survived the bombing somehow. Let's let Dolores go get it. She's already tired. And if it's still irradiated, I don't want Timmy getting sick. Day 15. All right. 
when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. Alright, just tired and hungry and hungry. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious at the time, but right now it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about it, losing one leg will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. Yeah, let's use some first aid. Hopefully we don't use it all up. Day 16. And we did. Oh well, at least she's fine. There's nothing a few pills won't solve. Keeping a well-stocked first aid kit should be our number one priority. Dolores is better now, and let's hope it stays that way. Alright, she's rested, which is good. Timmy's rested, which is good. Some people keep dogs and cats, and then there's ones who travel around with huge mutant spider on a leash. Turns out one of them was the huntress we helped some time ago. She came back and shared a meal with us. Her tamed pet spider tagged along, and it turned out to be quite friendly. We're pretty sure it purred when we pet him on the head, right above his huge, bloodthirsty, terrifying eyes. Cute. Alright, well, she came and ate with us, so maybe that'll make us not hungry. And Mary Jane's back. Ooh, she's not looking too hot, though. She didn't get radiated. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Half of our local city hall has been completely obliterated. The other half, however, looked promising. So we went in to investigate the ruins. One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water with a mop standing in it. We managed to fill some bottles with the contents of that bucket. It does look a bit funny. We just hope it doesn't taste of soap or something else. The mayor's secretary was a sweet old lady who loved music. The mayor let her keep a radio so she could listen to it while she worked. It's still here and undamaged. Hey, we got a radio. That's going to help us. All right, Dolores is no longer hungry, and Timmy's no longer hungry. All right, so thirsty, tick, tick sired. That's what I was going to say. Tick and sired. She's sick and tired and going to starve, so we'll give her that. And we don't have any... Yeah, we got to send somebody out. A group of doctors knocked on her door today. Yep, let's give them stuff. You know what? We got, that's, we got plenty of water. We don't have food. Day 18. All right, we're moving along. We're going to send maybe Timmy out. Who knows? We asked them for the doctor license, and all of them claimed they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just the one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey. And better luck with trousers. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Okay, then let's fucking give her water then. Fucking calm down, Dolores. Alright, who should go? Probably Timmy. And what should he bring? Nothing. No, yeah, bring... Fuck, I don't know. Timmy, bring... Bring fucking playing cards, Timmy. I don't care. Just bring something with you. Just get the hell out of here. Just go. Day 19. All right. Let's see. Day 19. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Well, we're going to fucking send somebody else out. That's what we're going to do. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there's something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow? But how? We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Well, then I don't have anything to fix it with, so we're just gonna have to deal with it a little bit, it looks like. Day 20. Alright, we're moving along. We decided to ignore any problems with the vents and focus on other problems. As predicted, all of us developed a nasty cough and had trouble breathing, but it got better the next morning. We don't know what the issue was, but the important thing is it's gone now. Right, they're both doing okay. We can keep sitting on our backsides. Yeah, let's listen to the radio. Hopefully Mary Jane will continue to feel better and or turn into a mutant. That would be the better option. She doesn't look as tired anymore. We knew it! The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they'll be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Hell yeah, now we just gotta not break that radio. Mary Jane has been caught sneaking out under the cover of night. Dolores was furious when Mary Jane revealed she was going on a date with some bandit boy. She met him during an expedition. Mary Jane asked for a chance to contact her date via written note to apologize for not showing up. Should, should she be allowed to do that? Yeah, fine. You went out there and got supplies, and I don't want you running away without us, so... We gotta keep you on, on good spirits. Day 22. After hours of tears, begging, pleading, and some more tears, Dolores caved. Mary Jane wrote a note to the bandit boy, drew some hearts with tomato soup, and left to drop it off. She came back angry and disappointed. Apparently the boy was eaten by a mutant raccoon while waiting for her the other night. Mary Jane said it was for the best. He was clearly better raccoon fodder than boyfriend material. Aren't there any drugs we could give Mary Jane? Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Aren't there any drugs we can give our child? Let's give her some food. The last of the food, so hopefully Timmy comes back. We got scared a little boy today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Oh, a little bit. We got scared a little boy. We got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden the map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world to do it. Should we try? Yeah, let's try. Hopefully there's food in there. Day 23. Nope, no food. What was it? What was in there? An axe! Okay, we're not sure how or why the map just decided to slide off the wall, but we're lucky that it happened. We found some supplies. Alright, and Mary Jane hasn't eaten in a while. I could have swore she just ate, but whatever. 
We'll give her some water. We got plenty of that. There isn't a lot of space down here. We can smell everything. When one of the bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's a smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of this stench? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Oh shit, Timmy's back. Please have brought food. Nice! He brought food and medical supplies and he's sick, so... We looked into the hole fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling you'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty soup can. He deserved that much. We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. When our expedition noticed planes in the sky, we were afraid more bombs would fall. Instead, supply crates began to rain down. We made sure we got to one of the drops before the other survivors could loot it. A food drop! That's what we needed. What did they drop this time? Bread? Cheese? Meat? Chocolate? No. Tomato soup cans. Hooray. <laughs> Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit filled with some high quality drugs. We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was something we were eagerly awaiting. We just didn't expect a medical container to fall on another scavenger's head. That was pretty traumatic. We might need some drugs to cope with the memory. While exploring the wasteland, we got a bit tired and decided to take a short stop to rest. It's a good thing we took cards. Nowadays, there aren't that many more relaxing than around a solitaire under the greenish radioactive sky. We were about to go, we noticed a few bottles stuck in a pile of junk. Hey, damn. And the card stayed outside, but that's alright. Spotted some sort of vehicle just down the road. Damn, they did well. Let's give Mary Jane that since she's been sick longer. Uh, give her some food and he just needs to rest. Can we try to... No, we can't cheese the scissors. I was like, well, let me give both. <laughs> We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip can be risky, but we could really use the supplies. And Dolores is definitely going to go. Visited by a young woman today. She's on a mission to rescue her twin brother who went missing after he challenged a local bandit leader for a duel. She said they'd been observing for a while and they were hoping to visit together eventually, but then her brother went missing. She asked that we help her reunite with her brother and promises we will not regret it. Yeah, go, Mary Jane. I know you're sick, but I just gave you medicine, so hopefully it works out. Day 25, let's see, Mary Jane came back, she's not sick, and it looks like things might be taking a turn for the better. So I'm going to end that one here for the day, guys. If you did like this one, be sure to like, subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And of course, I want to thank all of my members. Right now, I have one member spinning to win, so thank you very much, spinning to win. Remember, all members get exclusive access to the private Discord where you can chat with me, suggest games, ask questions, and you get a custom exactly gaming emoji that you can drop in comments, things like that. And of course, you'll get a shout out at the end of every video. So thanks again, Spinning to Win, for being my first and only member right now. Be sure to check out the Members tab, guys. And of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.